here. Make <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Cinematic Tendency, and yeah, I am still at the theater, and uh, I just watched the movie um, Harold and the Purple Crayon, and uh, I didn't know anything about uh, this movie. I mean, I watched the trailer like once or twice, but uh, this movie is based on a on, on a kid's book. Uh, but about the movie, let me tell you, um, I found it entertaining, uh, mainly the first and the second act. The third act is a little questionable. However, if you are between the ages of between six and 12, or if you have children between those ages, I think uh, they are gonna like it, the whole thing. You know, that includes the third act. Um, so as I was watching this movie, uh, two main uh, things that kind of stood out for me, I was thinking about two other movies. I was thinking about Prometheus and also about Green Lantern. And <laughs> the reason is because in Prometheus, you know how uh, uh, the humans, they start dealing with uh, exist existential questions, you know, like they want to uh, meet uh, their creators. They want to go and meet the engineers. So that element is, is in this movie too. And also, uh, Remember the movie Green Lantern is all about uh, imagination and then there is a fight, you know, when, when he fights uh, Sinestro, right? Uh, ring versus ring. And um, it kind of the same thing here. I mean, on the third act, there is a fight and they're using imagination. So as they were fighting uh, uh, the, the good guy and, and, the, and the antagonist using uh, imagination, I thought about Green Lantern versus Sinestro. I know, kind of silly, but yes. All right, guys, so, uh, yeah, so uh, overall, I had a decent time, uh, especially f with the first and second act. So thank you guys for watching, and I am going to see you very soon in another video. And until then, choca la mano.